quick. Clearly. Because that's safe. Let me drive. Got your license? No, but you know that if you ever emailed me. I totally get, I get it. And I think that they really did a good job of capturing that dynamic of tension and discord, but also moments of lightheartedness and connectedness and um, just these moments of levity that, that happen. And then, you know, it can turn on a dime because both of these women are figuring out their way, trying to fit in. Um, hormones are crazy and everyone just feels misunderstood all the time. And I just, I just think that they captured this like teenage angst so perfectly, so beautifully. And I especially loved um, the nostalgia of it, the, the map quest directions, um, the, the old car, the, all of just these, these little things that kind of establish the world and the time period that they're in. And uh, I think for a lot of people watching, they're going to be like, oh, I remember that simpler times. Um, yeah. So I really liked the storyline of this. And I loved even like, especially the way that it ended, which was the younger sister going and reaching for that pack of cigarettes because, well, if, if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I missing out? Am I like, there's just, there's so much to it. And it's just totally relatable. So. I liked how the, the majority of um, the shot was filmed in the car. Um, it's not. It's not obviously. It's not a one shot, but it has that sort of idea of the single, the singular, continuous shot. So being in just one place and then just um, us kind of being taken through the story arc in this one sort of section in the car, um, like I am. But yeah, I thought that was a very interesting choice, and I really. Um, I, I appreciate those uh, choices because um, it strengthens the story and it allows you to, um, or it allows rather the director and the audience to uh, focus in on sort of the major themes that are being uh, brought out. I like the old school style. Um, I think that besides the wardrobe, the, the, the grading and the color really, um, really enhanced that. So it really felt like you were in those early 2000s. The actresses do a phenomenal job of portraying that tension between siblings uh, in the sense of there is a problem, but neither side really wants to address it. So I really enjoyed that back and forth of they would bicker and then try to get along only to bicker again. Um, so you always had that tension because neither side was addressing the issue uh, until eventually you hit the climax where there's just this explosion of energy. I especially thought that it was ingenious the way that they did the scenery as the girls were driving. I thought that that special effect, they handled that really, really beautifully. It was very believable. The other believable thing was the relationship between your two actresses. I believed that they were siblings. They had a really great rapport with each other, and they were both exceedingly talented actresses. They were great. I loved them. I thought that um, what the filmmakers did with the cinematography with this and the creativity in the camera angles inside of the car was so very good it really kind of, it kept the pace going. I really like how, you know, there's a, a, a big, just emotional journey that happens on this one car ride, um, you know, dealing with family and just, you know, the, the, the issues with their parents and where they're going in their lives and how things are changing. And um, so much is covered, you know, and, uh, you know, the growing frustration is expressed in the direction of the car and where it's going. And they finally get pulled off the the road. And, you know, anyways, things are kind of resolved at the end, but you're wondering where they're going to go next. So, but uh, nice script, really well done, really real, nicely written, um, well directed. And the two actresses did a great job. They were, they did, they were very good. Um, and uh, yeah, I just love the way the whole thing is executed with the, the, you know, the period and everything being part of it. 
So great job on this. You know, I thought this piece was super nostalgic and emotional. Uh, I loved the period setting. I thought it captured 2001 really well. Um, you know, I loved the coming of age vibe that the film had. Um, I loved watching the sisters interact. I loved their dynamic, um, some great conflict and, and drama in there. Um, and the acting from, from both of them was really, really good. Um, I also thought there was some solid VFX work in this film. You know, the green screen work was really well done, uh, which is not always easy to pull off. These girls sound like me and my sisters. I guess all sisters are polar opposites as we grow up. There are times you can really get along and laugh, and other times you want to kill each other. It's, I think it's just being sisters in general, and the filmmakers captured that really well about what sisterhood is like where you don't get along, you don't know everything about each other. You don't really want to know everything about each other. You cut each other down rather than build each other up. I mean, that's how it works in my family anyways. With me and my sisters, it's you take things wrong that maybe your sister doesn't mean to insult you with. It's just part of growing up that as you grow up, you grow further apart. I know they used to say, that when you get older, you'll be friends with your siblings. And I know that's true with brothers, but with sisters, I don't see that happening a lot. It's because our parents raised us to be strong, independent women, just as the two girls in the film were. And it means doing what you want and growing into different interests.